Hi everyone and welcome back to another week of Belgian Farm Innovation. A few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, we removed the floor from our guest room. Uh, I'll put a link uh, here to this video and uh, thanks to all your comments and advices, we decided to keep all the tiles and to clean them up maybe later but we have already tried a few a couple of mechanical ways of removing uh, removing their discrete layer on top so yeah uh, so yeah <laughs> so we were there's also another pattern that we have found uh, this was, uh, as you can see here, this one was cleaned up just by, um, how it's called? Yeah, by, hand. by hand. And this one was with a mechanical burst. And you see already that there are colors. It was polished a bit, and that's why the colors differ. So uh, they are not uh, that contrast anymore as they used to be. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see. Let's, we uh, also tried uh, with pressure washer. Uh, I'll show you, you it right now. it's not working at all what have we tried another way uh, we also tried our uh, heating up their tiles like um, it's also it was working and some little small pieces were coming out but not that efficient always oh, I think it's too long wow <laughs> yeah but too long yeah of results, but yeah. This this method is working, but um, heating up the whole tile just to two small places where their cement came off. So, yeah, not effective. We can say that it's not working. The method is not working on these tiles. So let's try uh, uh, to clean them with a mechanical burst. So, Ilya was using this. So, I, I, I try to clean up using this metal brush and all these wires gone after one tile. Just and one tile. Yeah, just one tile and I have another one. It's much harder, so I can show you, I hope. I don't like this way because it polishes the tile and color becomes too dark. So yeah, we need to find another way how to clean up. But it's like plan B for us. Uh, so uh, this is the result that we have achieved so far uh, we, by cleaning up these tiles. We tried only mechanical ways of cleaning the tiles and no chemicals yet, but we will definitely give it a go as well and we will try some chemicals as well. But it just we are saving all these tiles uh, to clean them up for later because it takes a lot of time and uh, we need to find this stuff, to buy this stuff and to apply different kinds of and to see what works and what not. So we will. Uh, do it later. So many thanks for all your devices for this uh, how to clean them up. We will 
do our best to save them. Uh, so these were the tiles uh, from our guest room. And right now we're gonna remove uh, the floor from our entrance room, a hallway, I don't know how it's called. And uh, this floor is covered with another type of Belgian, uh, very typical uh, tiles, terracotta tiles. And they could be found on a lot of Belgian farms. We were lucky enough that they were not covered with any screed or something, so we will be able to save them all. And uh, I'm really excited uh, to put them in our future uh, kitchen. So, okay, let's let's do the job. Anakin, come, 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 Anakin. But this is a tile and yeah this is this was damaged but we would still need or uh, we would still need the halves and maybe some parts so we can reuse even this ones that will be fine the, the mortar that we would need to clean so that's So I want to show to show you they were using lime mortar for these tiles. See? It's here. This is a tile. This the sand. So the thickness of a tile.
We are almost done and we managed to save without breaking quite a lot, yeah? Yeah. I guess so like... Uh, 90 so or more. 90% we managed to save and there was like 10% that we didn't... Yeah, that... that uh, was broken but still we will save some pieces that are big enough to be cut it I mentioned uh, before that we're gonna make uh, um, we're gonna use them in our kitchen but also we uh, we will make uh, I don't know how it's called uh, such a, a zone next to the fireplace <laughs> Come on, come on, Ilya. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, so we will uh, use these tiles in our kitchen, but also we will use them to, uh, to tile up the zone next to the fireplace. I don't know how it's called. Maybe you can help me out. So, and we have two. We have here, and we have in a guest room. So we will do the uh, do the same in both rooms. I'll help you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So while uh, lifting up this uh, this. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Well, lifting up these tiles, we noticed a root. And the question is how long it is. And I don't know. From which tree is this root is actually? Oh my god. See? Nice. <laughs> Crazy. It's everywhere. Really 
invasion, yeah? <laughs> Or is it three? Yeah, I think it's a root of one of the three which uh, we removed next to the door. Like <laughs> crazy. <laughs> I, we noticed this root, but we saw that it's coming from that side because there were also a tree over there in the corner that Ilya removed. And I saw that this is the root from this tree, but it's somewhere coming from there. So. Yeah, I think it's from this tree. Which one? This one. From this tree, probably, yeah. From this tree or, or from the or this one? But I think from this tree or from this two. Not from the walls. I tried, uh, I wanted to try, this is the tile that we have uh, removed a couple of days ago from our and uh, hallway and I tried a mechanical way of uh, removing the lime mortar from the tile underneath. It's going off, coming off here, yeah, but uh, I'm really afraid that I will break uh, the tiles because at some parts at the beginning it it's uh, coming off pretty easily, but sticks very well here in the middle and uh, I don't think that this is the best way to clean them off the um, lime mortar. So if you have any suggestions and any um, advices how to clean the lime mortar from the terracotta tiles without damaging, please, <laughs> I'll be very grateful for all your advices. I want to show you the, also the color. This is, these are, they are not glazed and uh, their surface is uh, very uh, rough. But I really like it, and there are uneven colors. This is more dark, I guess. We would need to clean them properly. But this is the second one. A baked ash, yeah, it looks like with all their imperfections. go in some in the corner where it's not that windy here check. it's so windy last days I need to find a spot to hide from it and have a decent sound <laughs> quality as what I would like to share with you that we are starting our own patreon 
uh, if you would love to support our channel to support our renovation to get some extra access to the videos of us talking about financial aspects about our future plans some q a videos please join our community and become our patron you are more than welcome i'll put a link somewhere here and also we'll add it to the description section of this video we also have a paypal account uh, for one-time donations if you are if it suits you better and you still want to support our renovation any kind of support and help would be very much appreciated thank you very much So that's it. Many thanks for accompanying us today in our renovation journey. See you next week. Bye.